So I had planned that my first video was going to be showing you guys something that I had made myself and that was super helpful, but instead I thought I would do something a little different. I'm on a lot of support groups for parents uh, with kids with CP um, and other physical disabilities. And the question that keeps coming up most often is around AFOs and what socks and shoes to use for it. Um, it seems really basic. I'm not going to show you anything that I have made or that is new, um, but hopefully it'll be helpful if I just go through a few of the things that I have learned um, mostly in the last couple of years since I've been a mom of a child with CP um, around how you find the right kinds of socks and shoes to wear with AFOs. So first of all, um, this is my daughter's AFO that she's using right now. So hers have a hinge in them, not all of them do. Um, there's all different kinds. They can be um, different heights. Sometimes they're just short ones, sometimes they're longer ones. You can have KFOs that have a whole nother joint to them. Um, but for the most part, this is kind of what an AFO looks like. So it supports their leg and has generally a strap around um, where their ankle joint would be and then up at the top to kind of show it, um, to show you there. So um, my daughter's last set of AFOs are these ones. They're a little bit smaller. These are the ones that she grew out of. Um, as you can see at the back, they had this snazzy strap on them that used to, so we could um, take them from a hinged um, up to if we did this strap up tighter um, to more of a rigid one so that um, it couldn't move. So when she was in her standing frame we used to um, do it up tight. So and she needed that extra support right in the beginning but she ended up being able to um, stand just fine um, even though she had that that little bit of a hinge. So that's my daughter specifically and her AFOs. Now, the big question is usually around socks and shoes. Um, I know that there are specialty socks and shoes on the market. Um, I have never wanted to pay that much money for socks and shoes and I've never thankfully had to. Um, every kid is different, um, so what works for my kid is not necessarily gonna work for your kid. But um, a few things to think about anyway when you're looking. Um, first of all, socks. So the socks that we use are almost exclusively knee-high socks that I buy at the dollar store. I don't like spending any more money than that and I haven't actually had to. Um, my daughter does pretty well with socks that aren't that thick. Some kids, I know um, some of my students in the past had needed thicker socks. Um, the sad part about knee-high socks is if you have a boy, they're really hard to find. Um, if you have a boy who's okay with maybe a little girlier looking socks, like these ones aren't horrible, but they do have hearts on them. Um, here's another pair, they have some pink. Um, that's sort of what I have the easiest time finding. I know um, people who have boys um, generally have a harder time finding specifically boy socks. Um, I know some people have had luck at Old Navy finding higher uh, socks um, and some people haven't. Um, if you're looking for a thicker sock, I know some people have had luck using um, socks uh, for kids who play soccer. Um, they're a little thicker. Um, you just have to be careful. Um, lots of times the AFOs are not designed to have a thicker sock in them um, and then they'll end up being too tight. So that's sort of something that you need to be wary of. Um, when we use these socks, I put them on my daughter. I pull them up as absolutely high as I can put them on. Um, I put our AFOs on and then what we do is we do the magic fold over. So we kind of fold them back down over top of the AFO. Uh, if we're going out and someone's going to see them, my mother always tells me I need to do this. I need to flip them back up so they're pretty. Um, but the idea of doing this is that you have the fabric going over the top and lots of times that'll help with rubbing. Um, and if you've got them pulled up tight, tight, tight before you put the AFO on, then that will make sure that there are no wrinkles. Because if you have wrinkles underneath um, and this is on all day long, they can get a rub mark, maybe a blister, 
it's not what you want to do. You always want to be making sure you're watching out for red marks too, um, especially new AFOs. Uh, sometimes they're not fitted perfectly. Um, if your kid is getting a red mark, you can take the AFOs and your child uh, back to where you got them made and they can actually stretch out whatever point is rubbing. Um, so don't feel like if your kid is having issues with their AFOs that you have to just give up and not use them. Um, they can be adjusted. So that's sort of one thing to think about. So that's socks. 